Hi, I'm Alan and this is Prayers to the Dice Gods. And because nobody commented on the last video about whether or not they wanted to see my face anymore, you're now stuck with it. You're going to be seeing my face a lot more. While looking through a box, I found some of my old Lord of the Rings figures. And now I have a great fondness for these. I first fell in love with Lord of the Rings when I was about 12 years old when I first read the books. Of course, the films came out, the magazine for Games Workshop came out, and that drew me back into playing tabletop battle games at the time. I didn't realise I still had some, so I thought today we'd have some fun and I'd paint Gandalf the Grey. But, with a slight twist, I'm going to paint him with no shades and no metallic paints. Let's see how it goes. So looking at some reference photos, we notice that it's a grey he's in because he's Gandalf the Grey. So we're going to start with a nice simple grey, give it a good solid base. And then looking at our reference photo, we notice that it's some sort of linen that he's got on. So it has quite a bit of texture. We're going to achieve this by drawing lines. So the plan here is all of the highlights we're going to do in three progressively lighter shades of grey. And we're going to put those onto all of the areas that we'd like to be highlighted. And then for the shading, we're going to go for one to two darker grey shades, which we're also going to do in lines to give it that texture and appearance of something like linen. The other fun part with Gandalf the grey is we're using exactly the same greys for quite a bit of him. So we need to make them look different. So we're going to go for the same shades of grey in his beard and we're going to take that up to white in some places, but not all of them. We want it to keep that grey kind of shaggy look with white tufts here and there. We're also going to do non-metallic metal on his sword, which of course we're going to start with a slightly lighter shade of grey than we did his clothes. We're then going to take that up to as close to white as we can get it. And then we're going to take that back the other way as close to black as we can get it without actually making it black. We're going to do that with some glazing. Of course, we're then going to highlight that with white just to give it that nice shine around the edge of the sword. Of course, Gandalf has some brown on him. He does actually wear some leather belts. Bit of an odd thing for Gandalf to be wearing. They have some nice gold buckles. So, of course, we're going to hit those with some non-metallic metal, but it's going to be a nice, simple one because they're very small parts on the model. We're also going to do his staff in the same browns as the leather. This model has been painted with very few actual colours. So we're going to do the browns. We're going to highlight that a couple of times. We're then going to do the crystal on top of the staff, and that is literally just a grey with a highlight of white on. And then because... The cloak and his hat are wanted to be a different colour from his main clothes underneath. What I'm doing is I'm going to create a filter. I'm doing that with a kind of brownie grey because in some of the pictures Gandalf actually looks like he's dressed in brown rather than grey. So I think that'll be a nice offset tone between the two so you can tell that he is actually wearing layers. So we do that a couple of times we mix it so it's almost just a glaze and then we're going to go over the top two or three times and that's going to give us our brownie grey tone. Gandalf has of course got some flesh showing his face and his hands so we're going to do that in progressively lighter flesh tones just to give it a nice kind of tanned weathered look and of course let's not forget about his eyeballs they are quite difficult don't worry if they look a little bit crazy he is a very small model. And now once we've given him a nice muddy base, we're done. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get all of the notifications as and when the new videos are released.